hi. Uh, I'm so glad to see you uh, here today in Kharkiv. Yeah. And uh, what can you tell me about Ukrainian winter? What do you think? Is it too cold for you? Well, first of all, Lena, it's great to be back. Despite the weather, Ukrainian winter is very cold. I think this morning it was negative 18 degrees Celsius, which for a British person is almost unheard of, yeah. even up in the Shetland Islands, the most northerly point of the UK. However, I like the Ukrainian cold. It's a strange opinion, but I find it to be quite a dry cold, and Britain is always very wet, no matter what time of year it is. So the low humidity makes the cold crisp, Mm -hmm. dry and less chilly almost than in the UK but I know that some people would really hate this yeah for example me yeah <laughs> and when you were back uh, you noticed that we uh, have a lot of snow yeah. were you surprised to see that much snow no because I've been living here long enough now to know that whenever I go away that's the day that it snows it's a strange coincidence but it immediately snows after I leave. I know that you had a white Catholic Christmas and a white Orthodox Christmas oh, with that yeah. much snow, <laughs> but I'm no longer surprised by the amount of snow you find in Ukraine. However, the amount of snow we have in Britain doesn't compare, so when I see people posting mm -hmm. photographs in the UK and there's this much snow on the ground, <laughs> compared to how much do we have? Two and a half foot at the moment? Mm -hmm. I think that... Uh, we have a stronger constitution than people in Britain, but that's just me flattering myself. And I know it's even on the news, uh, and uh, British people, they just panic that it snows. Some people do, and you'd think they do because of the news, but it must be remembered that a good way to sell newspapers when there isn't any news is to warn people, look out, the snow is coming! <laughs> And you'll see this every single year. Many, many newspapers will talk about the terrible snowstorm that oh, yeah. is about to hit. Mm -hmm. I think if they lived in Kharkiv for a day or two, people might get over the panic about snow. Yeah, I think so. And have you ever been caught in bad weather? Yes, I have been caught in bad weather. I don't think I've ever been caught in a blizzard. I have been caught in snowfall before, but if you're from the UK, of course you've been caught in bad weather. I'm sure anyone can empathise with that. Everyone's been caught out in the rain, or even this week particularly, I've seen a lot of people caught out in the hail. Yes, wow. and that is not very pleasant, being hit by lots of small bits of ice. Yeah, of course. And uh, also, does weather affect you? Yes, I'm very affected by weather, particularly in winter. Uh, I love the sun. I need the sun. Uh, so if I can get even a few minutes of sunlight every day when I'm in Kharkiv, I try and get out in the sun. Uh, I need to be warm. I like the summer. It's my favourite season. I like winter in Ukraine, as I've mentioned before, mm -hmm. but my favourite season is definitely summer. But probably not in Ukraine. No, I love Ukrainian summer, even though it is extremely hot. Uh, again, I don't know if British people could handle it, but we like the warmth. We go to very sunny countries, even in the summer. So maybe Ukraine might be a bit underrated by British holiday goers, especially Odessa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, do you have uh, any favourite win winter activities? I love skiing and ice skating. But I'm not very good at ice skating. I can skate in circles and not fall down. Uh, and I can't afford to go skiing as often as I would like. Mm -hmm. I don't make enough money to go skiing very often. Although I've heard Bukovel in Ukraine is very competitively priced. So maybe sometime this year or next year, yeah, if I get the chance. It could cost you an arm and leg, so be oh, careful, don't it, go that. It could literally <laughs> cost me an arm and a leg if I fall over. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's true. And uh, could you tell me about a time then you went skiing or 
um, for example, in Ukraine? Uh, have you done that? Oh, I've been cross-country skiing in Ukraine. And what I've discovered from cross-country skiing is that I much prefer downhill skiing because it's a lot less effort. I've been downhill skiing in Austria a lifetime ago and also in the USA, mm. in Vermont. That was wonderful. But the only skiing I've done in Ukraine is cross-country skiing at the golf resort mm. in Kharkiv. And that is a lot more physically taxing. Yeah, oh, I can imagine. It's tough. Uh, all right. Uh, what is the best thing about winter? Warm drinks. Uh, what is the worst thing about winter? Cold feet. Uh, all right. All right. And uh, have you ever slipped on ice? That is a common competition between me and my other immigrant friends in Ukraine. We see how long it will take each year before one of us slips on the ice. This year... I lost immediately, slipped straight away, uh, but I'm good at catching myself. Last year, when I finally slipped, it was a disaster. I went up, fell on my back, landed on my laptop, and completely destroyed it. A good term from surfing in the USA for that is to call it a wipeout. Mm -hmm. It was a complete wipeout for me, both physically and financially. Terrible. Such a terrible loss. <sighs> Uh, and also, we have some idioms about winter um, in Russian. Mm. Could you give some examples of uh, idioms in English that you use to describe winter or cold? So I know there's one we share. What one is the one we share? Uh, to be on th uh, thin, thin ice. ice. Yeah, yes. thin ice. If you're on thin ice, you are risking making somebody very angry or you are in danger. And it's a warning. We have exactly the same. If we're talking about... The cold itself, we might refer to it as being Baltic outside. That means it's very cold. That's some good slang. And then there's some very rude slang we have about how cold it is outside. Uh, there's one for people to look up on Urban Dictionary. I'm, all I'm going to say is brass monkeys. Look up the words brass monkeys. So uh, that is a particularly rude but common bit of slang about how cold it is outside. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. It's great to be back yeah. and it's great to see you again. And I hope to see you back. Yeah, see you again. So.